No, idiot, I'm telling you, Merrick is definitely Kanan Jarrus. That's literally impossible, number one. <laughs> he dead. Number two, <laughs> it's Starkiller. It's not Starkiller. It's Star- it is no. not Star- So, the Idiot, I don't get why you keep saying that it's going to be Jar Jar Binks. Jar-Jar. It cannot that be Jar Jar. That would be the greatest no, rebrand in it makes history. Everyone be quiet. Lisa- We're going to watch Ahsoka episode four today. Thank you to all who have been on this journey with us. I want to say thank you to all who have been wishing Greg a happy birthday. But you want to know the best way to wish Greg a happy birthday? Real Rejects, we left Zero Edition, and now we have oh. our own store, RejectNationShop.com. Woo. Real Rejects tees are all over there right now, and if you want to celebrate Greg's birthday, get him a little present. You know, you can still support the channel by getting yourself a Real Reject shirt. That's where these Asoda shirts that I've been oh. wearing are mm. from. Michael just got one himself as well isn't yeah. it i love this design it's just so it's so vintage it's so cool just it's like the you best i was also in urgent care a couple days ago so give me some sympathy points and then you yeah. know yeah there's, there's a little pity buy you know what i mean it works for youtubers to do that it does a simp birthday leave a like on this video also, full length reaction watch along, where you sync up with your own copy of Ahsoka, available for Super Sex Rejects over at our Patreon page. Thank you to all been joining. We cover several shows exclusively for their reaction odds and watch alongs included. Intro done. Let's get to it. Today's the day we find out Merrick's identity as Barris Sandula. Barris Sandula. <laughs> I think we're going to go to the world between worlds today. I fear we face a difficult choice. What choice is that? If we can't make the journey to find Ezra, then no one should. Mm. Mm. Oh, you'll make that journey. Disney shareholders demand it. He'd be stranded out there. Better that than allowing Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. Aww, oh, said it. Can I count on you? Can you tempered his music? You know you can. It's missing some weight. I don't know what it is about the... Like I, I want it to be there. It's just not there yet. Best get underway soon. Is that a note of fear in your voice? <laughs> Experience. 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 Flashback. flashback. Oh, give me a flashback, please. <laughs> music. Fallen, Fallen Jedi. Jedi. Okay, okay. What are we referring to? They usually have dual meanings. The oh, yeah. dual of the fates. They usually have dual meanings. I mean, he's at least one of the fallen Jedi. Yes, but Ahsoka is as well. As well. Her own experience she doesn't quite identify as one. Oh, it's like poetry. It rhymes. Have you seen my e-cigarette, Ahsoka? <laughs> <laughs> you left it down around here somewhere. Should I be? What? Worried. Nope. Talk to each other, guys. I know how much Ezra means to you. As it does to everyone who didn't watch Star Wars Rebels. I can't wait to see him. Sometimes we have to do what's right, regardless of our personal feelings. Just like what Ezra said, you gotta make the hardest choices. Hmm? All right, here, yay. Whoa, Whoa. dang. Kick some ass? Yeah. Ugh. Droid on droid fight. <laughs> Why did I not know I needed this? Oh, <laughs> you gotta have more than just the one speaker. <laughs> yes. Uh, smart. Mandalorian and the Jedi. I'll never see it coming. <laughs> oh, oh, great. That was cool. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Yeah, honestly, who needs the force? <laughs> Look at that. She's doing great. Look at that teamwork. Nice of you to show up, Hu Yang. <laughs> I need you to contact General Sindula as soon as you can. Of course. We need the ghost crew. Stay together. Hmm. You always did better that way. In my opinion. We better get moving. Together. <laughs> I see what y'all did there. I'm like their uncle. Oh, and Alfred. God, I just... 
No matter how old I am. It's so cool. General. Oh my god, look. <gasps> it's the ghost! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Wow, Jason's going to wow, be wow. with them. Mom, That's... how come I have to do what I'm told and you don't? <laughs> well, when you're a general, you can disobey orders, too. Until then, buckle up. No. Yeah, buckle up, private. Can we please pick up Zeb on the way? No, you got to leave something for season two, man. Oh, no way. She's got the squad. Awesome. Thanks for joining the party, Carson. Carson's, Carson's here. here! Once a rebel, always a rebel. On your signal, Phoenix leader. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. You go. We're all in on three. Go, space cap. Two. Zeb, Zeb. Zeb. No. Zeb's not here, man. <laughs> uh, they would they wouldn't just throw him in that way. Those were all really important characters to the Rangers of the New Republic. Your calculations are off. We will be lost to the depths of the void. Have faith. Faith. I lost that a long time ago. When I fell from being a Jedi. I love seeing Bathamir just come to life. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, though. Oh, here you go. I think we're going to get something really big at the end of this. I've got a feeling you're right. I think we're going to get something we, huge. They've I, given I, us a nice buildup. Oh. Oh, boy. I am Starkiller. <laughs> <laughs> and Ezra Bridger. And this guy. Going somewhere? To, oh, to dinner? To the you. world between worlds. Oh, revenge fight. I bet we're not going to learn anything about this guy's identity. <laughs> He's just you a random me. character. I, w I would not put that past. That's There's an interesting... <laughs> I'll put money on that Even theory. the way she's she's looking at them, just... There's some kind of connection there. It'd be cool if they took the helmet off this episode. Okay. Cool. Live action Inquisitor fights. Dual bladed lightsaber fight. That's cool. And we got one in a long time. It's interesting if it is Star Killer. They share similar lightsaber forms from Anakin. Come on. Come on. Get your lightsaber out. Oof. Uh, so that's how you take a helmet off. You're out of the creed again. Oh, oh. good dodge. <laughs> there, there we go. In the waters again. Very up close camera work on this. Yeah, right. Very intimate. Again, Kevin Kleiner's music is amazing. He was made for the big screen. Yes, on Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> She's growing frustrated. I love it how that stuff they've embraced the samurai style with her. <laughs> the music. <laughs> Oof. Okay. All right, great. all right, all right. Oh, she's going to get the perfect strike in there. Yeah. That perfect strike. Come on. Come on, man. Whoa, this is hypnotic. There it is. Whoa. We can't end it there. Nope, we will. <laughs> yeah. You can't hype fans like that. It's a cool mask, and that's it, all right? Whoa, he's just shadow dust stuff? What was that? <laughs> Wait, that looked like Dathomir magic. It might have been, yeah. It could have been the embodiment of that. Wait, maybe it was Caden. <laughs> Fascinating. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, this is great. Regret this decision. Come on. You had that day of training, Sabine. <laughs> <laughs> Protect the map until I send for you. Oh boy. So maybe Merrick was just some like vessel thingy? Or there's just an alien that <laughs> is gaseous? It's like the Seth uh, MacFarlane character in Hellboy 2. In Tales of the Jedi, there was a, when Ahsoka killed that Inquisitor, there was a similar kind of deflation. Is this oh, concentrated nice. heat? <laughs> concentrated. 
The fight I've been waiting for. Anakin spoke highly of you. You Anakin, okay. Interesting. He never mentioned you. <laughs> Everyone in the Order knew Anakin Skywalker. Few would live to see what he became. I'm so intrigued right now. Surely that must leave a mark. Uh-huh. Is that why you walked away? Abandoned him? Oh boy, I'm loving the vibe of this. I'm not here to discuss my past. But you have shit to get over. The only reason I'm here is to secure the future. Common goal. Another Star War. Thrall will. It is an unfortunate evil, but speaks to a greater truth. Mm. One must destroy in order to create. Get at them lightsabers. <laughs> you in these writing sessions? How inevitable. <laughs> Snaps. <laughs> oh boy. Oh gosh. Such a beautiful hilt. God, they keep teasing my dick with information <laughs> about this guy. Yes. <laughs> In four play. No one wants to strike first. Cobra Kai. <laughs> Whatever people say about this show, I love the Shogun approach to the lightsaber duels That's a lot in this. Yeah, it's very striking. And you look. Definitely a stun double there. Okay. Ooh. Now that's acting. <laughs> I appreciate that he's yes. playing a more Western, medieval style. She's very much has this finesse, and he's just yeah. aggressive. Yeah. Woohoo! Oh, take that. Oh. <laughs> Not bad. Ooh. Whoa. Awesome. Nice to see some more acrobatic skills coming to play. Oh, no. Become the Jedi. Oh boy. Oh, oh god. This is gonna have to use the force. Yeah, it's gonna come out. Moment of stress. Come on. <laughs> oh. Made you flinch. That's embarrassing. <laughs> you have no power. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ah, okay, cool. I would be very proud. Cool. Like your masters, who's born of death and destruction. Oh. Yeah, let that pain out, Ahsoka. Ooh. Ow. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and for my next illusion, there's going to be a moment where Sabine uses so much force. That was on wide. <laughs> <laughs> now it's both our asses. Time for the battle on. Oh shit. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. Oh jeez. Oh, yes, let that anger, anger. out. Oh, oh, it's dangerous. Painful. Give it to the dark side of Soka. <laughs> oh yeah. You didn't need to come to this. Stop! Just shoot him. Destroy it! She can't. Ah, dude. She has to find Ezra. Step away from her! Or the map gets it. No! Ooh, dang. She's in the world between worlds. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh, she's going to go with him? Yes. Do as your master says. Destroy it. What do you sense? I know you feel that Ezra Bridger is the only family you have left. 
What, what about Hera? Your family died on Mandalore. Okay. Because your master didn't trust you. Oh, there it is. That's where all that resentment comes in. You and I share a common goal to make this journey. Oh, wow. Yeah. Come with me. He's so good at manipulating young women, huh? <laughs> we can learn a lot from this guy. You will be reunited with your friend. Uh, maybe you already have been. I promise she's been looking for, but it feels so dark. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> there it is. Psych. Oh, wow. I feel the thud of that. Yeah. I feel the weight of it like the like the ring from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Cold metal. Oh my. Oh, oh no. Boy. Give her my word, and unlike her former master, I shall keep mine. Oof. He's so much presence. Yeah, we really lost something special with him, didn't we? The hyperspace route has been established. It's honestly the best thing to happen to Star Wars in years. We are down. Can you send assistance? Over. Copy, we're already here. Dang. Let's go. What can you tell me? The enemy has built a massive hyperspace ring. What's <laughs> on your mind? Why would she bring him? <laughs> That's so dangerous. This does seem like a very inopportune time to take your kid to work today. <laughs> Return at once. Understood. The ghost is getting stuck there in the portal. Wolf. Oh no. No one will be following us. <sighs> you regret every decision. Wow. Sick, sick, sick. sick. <laughs> Damn, that is gorgeous. Hera. Oh. Yeah, maybe, maybe she uh. should. <laughs> Ignore them. Engage the hyperdrive. Oh boy. We're all going for a ride. I just want to see this new world. I'm so excited. What does a different galaxy look like? You know, something Star Wars designers would come up with. I'm gonna jump right through us. Wow! Yikes! Jeez. Oh, whammo! Oh, awful way to go. Oh, damn! Oh, wow. You harm one hair on Carson's beard. <laughs> I, I've got a bad feeling. <laughs> An interesting time for we his, we all do some. that line. <laughs> he's he's force sensitive. He's feeling figuring it out. I wonder if when she grabbed it, Pergil. It's a cool trend. They don't need the map. <laughs> Oh, whoa. Whoa, is she Very actually cool in the world trend. between worlds? I think she's in the world between worlds. Again? Between oh, worlds. Anakin's going to be here. I totally feel it, too. I can feel his presence. I can feel Anakin. He... Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the world between worlds. I called it. <laughs> <laughs> Let it be known this day. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Yeah. She's like a back here again. Master? He. I didn't expect to see you so soon. He. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What point in the timeline will it be? Yes. Oh. Hell yeah. Deanakin. <laughs> I 
Oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. There's a tune in next week for you. Somebody pulled her in. Who? Maybe him. Or Ezra Bridger pulled her in. Ezra and so Bridger. did Kane and Jarris. And so did. Well, I mean, Ezra already did once. All right. Let's talk about it, guys. All right, John. <laughs> <laughs> this definitely ended off in a very intriguing place. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm fascinated by how these Star Wars shows move. And I have been pretty well kind of grabbed by this thus far. In the past couple of episodes, I have been sitting here going, okay, this is very linear, straightforward, action-oriented. I'm ready for something to kick, something to evolve, you know, the next chapter of the story to begin. And that seems uh, evidently what is about to happen, both spiritually and physically. And, uh, and I really do appreciate... It's interesting. I'm excited for what's to come. I really appreciate the fact that they are going for something a bit more brooding, a bit more airy, and a bit more deliberate. I have been sitting here. It's it's. It was interesting watching this episode because Ray Stevenson has so much presence all the time when he's on screen, and I can always feel the depths that I think they want me to feel from everybody when he is on. So there are times where I find myself, yeah, a little bit kind of waiting for some real emotional story to kick back up, especially between, say, Ahsoka and Sabine. Um, and I don't often or always feel the unsaid stuff as much with them, and I'm waiting for that. But this episode uh, did certainly kind of grab me again and go, okay, maybe we're about to get to the point where some real challenges are going to be met and also some real world building is going to happen. So, uh, so yeah, I am, I'm optimistic. I enjoyed this episode and it certainly kind of, I don't want to say got better as it got along because I, I didn't think it got bad at any point, but yeah, I'm at a point where I've been kind of ready for a next gear to be shifted into and I feel like that's what's going to happen. So, uh, so yeah, pretty solid episode. I would say. Pour Hi. moi. Michael? Well, you know, this this has so many pieces uh, that have been missing. I think the I completely agree about like Ray Stevenson. The that is a character that has like dimension, and there's something so fascinating and interesting that you just you want to know more, and it definitively enhances everybody's performance when he's on screen. Um, I think this episode, for the first time, I really was like, ooh, this must really be rough to not be a Rebels fan. Like, in in that they're, they're dropping a lot. They're doing, I think, the best job that they can in terms of, like, trying to handle the just the sheer volume of exposition. Mm -hmm. But uh, I can only imagine that this is a challenge. And I think the heart of that challenge comes from a very simple fact that you have an amazing actor as Ahsoka and you have an amazing actor as Sabine. And I think the two of them have zero chemistry together as talent and it shows and it sucks because <laughs> I want them to, and I'm waiting for them to. And for a while I thought, well, maybe this is just the, the goal of the writing. Um, but in reality, I, I just think that relationship has fallen flat that being said, I, d I don't think that the series, because of that, is a, a lost cause. There is so much that it does right, and it's learning from, uh, and and I'm excited to see where it goes. You know, I'm I'm particularly excited. I, I think Ahsoka as a character and her challenges. I'm hoping that by getting to see her dynamic with Anakin in the World Between Worlds, which like. I just can't believe that I just saw that in live action. Like, it's insane. Um, I'm hoping that that will create an opportunity for fans that maybe don't know Ahsoka to fall in love with Ahsoka and to really understand why her character is so important, not just to the story, but to Star Wars itself and, and what she represents and what she's grown into and, and become. Because um, I really, like... 
I know there's always a lot of like on the internet about like, well, you have two female leads. This was actually the first Star Wars content ever where two women with lightsabers had their lightsabers clash, which is kind of insane to think that that's just the first time it's happened. The Bechdel saber fight. The Bechdel saber fight. I love it. But, you know, I think Ahsoka, it, as we talk about, like, authentic representation and, like, doing a good job and, and having characters that are meaningful and playing a role, when Ahsoka first joined the Star Wars universe as Anakin's Padawan, she kind of universally hated. And over time, through writing and through building character you watch this little girl grow up into like the ultimate badass and you know i think there's a generation of fans uh who really identify with her and i'm excited for people that have not necessarily gone through the clone wars journey and the rebels journey to finally have the chance to see the ahsoka that we fell in love with um so i know that was a lot of thoughts i apologize you have to apologize i'm sorry Oh, well, apology accepted. Thank you. What did you think, Greg? I think it's... I'm conflicted. Hmm. I'm conflicted because uh, I, I like everything that you guys said you liked, and um, I'm just... My, my, I guess my I fluctuate so much. I thought that my connection to Sabine and Ahsoka in particular finally was coming in play hmm. last episode, and then here was kind of lost again. Because there's so much of this, something that happened between them uh, off screen, yeah. <laughs> you know. Like I think even if you're a Rebels fan, you know, I've, no, I've yeah, seen, we're, I've we're seen, missing I've seen Rebels, and I'm like, well, a lot of this happened off screen, and they just they do a lot of this John Wick like dialogue, which yeah. is cool in a movie, but we're on we're watching a television series, like yeah. this whole shrouded in mystery type yeah, of yeah, dialogue yeah. stuff. Yeah, like okay, like, a yeah. lot of it's just uh, I, I I I need more meat here. Yeah. I need I need more yes. substance here, yeah. and it's it, like stoic is not bad. I I don't think stoic is bad, but it can feel a little dull. <laughs> if I'm being honest, <laughs> where in terms of their dynamic, right? Because there's a lot of really interesting things that are are happening here. Um, I feel like the Merrick thing is something that will probably put people up in arms. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, talk about that. Like, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll, we'll touch on that. Uh, we'll talk about Anakin and all that. And yeah, I, I mean, like, w w I, I guess I am at a point with this show because we're four episodes. How many are there? Eight? There's eight. Yeah. I think okay. There are eight. Six or eight, something like that, right? Yeah. Um, if, if oh, yeah. Six, we're in trouble. <laughs> because I, I feel like four, uh, four, they, it seemed like the conversation with Balin and Ahsoka was the thing that they're trying to set up for Ahsoka which is going after her past, right? And I kind of feel like uh, in terms of writing and, and doing a story about a character, the title character, Ahsoka, mm. the, uh, the the emotional depth to her uh, is not really something that's truly been set up in this show. It's like they've had like a line here or there, but in terms of focus, in terms of emphasis, in terms of being an audience member connected to the journey that she's supposed to go on on this show, isolated, yeah. not factoring in a countless episodes of Clone Wars and then her appearances in Rebels and Tales of the Jet, like all this shit. It, it's it, just going off of yeah. this show alone. And I feel like what they're, what they're setting up is that she has guilt uh, towards stuff that's happened. Like she's, she's saying, I don't, I'm not here to talk about the past. She's trying to solve a problem here. All this shit with Anakin of her being of her uh, leaving him behind because like the last sequence of events with Anakin did not go down that well. Like she did not she left she was disillusioned by the Jedi Order, and then as Ahsoka in Rebels uh, she fights Darth Vader, you know, and ha comes to the realization of that, and then pulled between the world between worlds. There's this, there's this whole thing here where I understand why she could probably have a lot of pain in her and have this uh, issues with trust and whatnot. But that's a lot of me going in there with a lot of canon and a lot of other shit that, yeah. I'm, that I'm applying yeah. myself. Yeah. And, I, and, and so, I'm like, when I say I'm at, at, at Crossroads here, it's because I'm a Star Wars fan and I know all this information yeah. and it's more so how is this being communicated in terms of this medium and this in the in this specific story they're trying to tell because right now I do feel it's a bit of a void when it comes to what they are pitching as the heart of the story which is Ahsoka and Sabine 
And that right there, I just don't feel yeah. much for. Yeah. And and then for Ahsoka's own personal story, I'm like, I don't really feel much for that. I'm excited at the at the prospect of live action because you know Anakin Skywalker adapting the Clone Wars was meant to look like Hayden Christensen. So it's cool. Like, oh shit, we're gonna see Ahsoka and Anakin interacting with each other. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Like, yeah. no doubt, that's really yeah. cool to me. I don't care what. Yeah. But crazy will, will it be able to achieve what you're talking about is the, is the uh, yeah, question. Yeah, because it's like they they didn't really set us up or build. I don't feel like they really built to that. Yeah. Whatever it is. And, yeah. and I, I think there's a, like. If, you guys go, I'm going, I feel like I was just like 10. No, 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 no. So, so I, I, <laughs> I, I think <laughs> you go first, the, Mike. The big, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm just holding in a lot of things right uh, now. I think there is a. There was a critical mistake that was made. The first episode of this show, in my opinion, should have taken place during the original apprenticeship with Sabine and Ahsoka. I think that we should have seen them jiving, having a good time, and then we should have seen that, like like Obi-Wan and Anakin, that there is a little bit of, of friction and stuff. And then the Siege of Mandalore, which I, I'm, I'm assuming that where the dot connects here and like where they're hoping that we assume is that everything that we know about the destruction of Mandalore is when her family was killed. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to tie it all in together and then kind of pick it up from there where we've, we've spent a little bit of time with these characters in this dynamic because even though we've seen all of the content, we're still left in the dark in terms of like this dynamic and this relationship. Like That's they didn't the, really that, have anything in Rebels. They were, they barely interacted yeah, with each other. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And and so, so even if you're like, I've seen Rebels, I'm like, well, Ahsoka and, and Sabine didn't really like talk to each other that yeah. often. And that's <laughs> like and and I think that's hard because you have a, <laughs> you have a character that has so much nuance in her relationships in the form of Ahsoka. And yet she hasn't interacted <laughs> with any of the mm -hmm. other characters that she would have that dynamic with. Yeah. Um, and I, I think that that's just kind of it, it gets to the, the heart of not just this f series issue, but I think kind of across the board is that it's it almost kind of feels like too little too late. Like the the need for that comprehensive story that is easy and linear to follow for people and in live action. Yeah. Like there was a window for that and that window is closed. And now we have this very like confused hodgepodge, like timeline wise, I'm just like constantly confused and I'm, <laughs> I'm theoretically, I know my stuff when it comes to star Wars. So, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know how to rescue that dynamic in that relationship. I, I feel like this is a lot of cool, like what it's serving in terms of man, the, I think it's serving a lot of cool lore. Yeah. I think it's a lot of lore building. It's a lot of world expansion. It's a lot of world building and history building and whatnot. Um, but at the end of the day, in terms of its story, I'm like, wow, everything aesthetically and tonally, I'm like, this is everything that should be just, yeah. oh, this should be peak Star Wars for yeah. me, you know? <laughs> um, but I, I'm i constantly like, at, at, and it's so it's just so strange. Like I, I'm not going to write the show off because yeah. it's like there's so much about it I've loved. Yeah, yeah. And, and, but Great. then but then by the time we get to here, I'm like oh, this is this is like the big climax of a lot of these characters converging. And I think that's why the problem comes in. You got Merrick um, fighting Ahsoka, and then it's yeah. like what the fuck's there? You got yeah. Shin fighting Sabine, and and Sabine making the choice, and. I think what happened with me when it, when the sh weirdly when it started to lose me in this episode was when they were talking about I know how much Ezra means to you and stuff and I'm like, but this shut should, the fuck this, up. Just this, shut the fuck up. This, like, is, this is so good. Are, show hasn't done anything to really establish Ezra. No, well, that's, unless you you like I'm like well, that's kind of weird that you have to really set like up. I I, I, <laughs> I, think I feel there would less be a way to do it right? yeah. and to get the people who have seen everything comprehensively as yeah. well as the people like me who have only seen yeah. like scattered episodes of these shows here or there. Yeah. I feel like you could have laced a lot of 
through the characters we care about who are on screen, you can care about people who are not on screen. Yeah. You don't even need to do a flashback to do that. And and this episode brought me to a place that I've heard people complain about for The Mandalorian up until this point. And I finally started to feel with that show about season three where it's like, I can feel the writing kind of spinning wheels and mm. not really... I admire when people set something up and instead of being like, but we're going to push that up. We're just going to keep hinting. I feel like this is learned bad lessons from the J.J. Abrams mystery box theory of like, mm. I get it. There's a bunch of mumbo jumbo, but nothing is all that tangible to make me yeah. really care about wanting to see the answer to those mysteries. And I think you could solve that problem without having to, you know, mainline like a whole bunch of yes. like thousands of hours of other things and mm. i can feel them pulling or saving punches when i'm like sabine and ahsoka should already have had like some kind of big old back and forth talk or something like yeah there's so many ways to approach it and i feel like they're going for vibe they're going for cool imagery they're going for some lore but they're really kind of dawdling in terms of actual mm. storytelling that mm. you might care about and this whole mm. thing up until this point as of this episode has felt like some extended prologue to me where like I should have seen some kind of team form or some kind of dynamic should have been established. But again, the most solid dynamic on screen is literally uh, uh, Balin, Balin and, and Shin, Shin. <laughs> you know, yeah. and no, kind of yeah. Elsbeth. And yeah. that's all stuff that too, again, from yeah. more of the outside, I'm like, Ancient Witch Order, awesome. I am already interested. Yeah. You know, uh, Jedi who are, you know, sort of in the middle and one has clearly fallen more synth, one has clearly fallen more toward the light side. Yeah. Fascinating. But then they even Ahsoka meeting Balin and having that face off was kind of a bummer at the end of it because I was like, oh, this is going to be a scene. And it was like a, a half a fight, yeah. you know, yeah. which was cool. But, yeah, I, I just don't think that they're really biting mm. into all the stuff that they've laid out onto the yeah. table. You know? it's, it's kind of interesting that the characters that we assumed were going to be like the real meat and potatoes have turned out to be the like broccoli of the show yeah like, man <laughs> you know and for Hera like I don't know a ton about Hera but I yeah. would, I feel like I would be bummed if I did because she's just been like in the I background feel, driving like around this been, whole time uh, yeah. not as interesting as I had hoped yeah she's just like bickering like, with people but politics and every, driving around everyone has <laughs> has had like an isolated moment or two where you're like that's a great scene but in terms of their their long their long gesting, like honestly, it's it's these fallen Jedi characters. They're the best ones. Yeah, yeah. they're the Shin and Balin. They're they're the most dynamic, and they're the most compelling. Yeah, and, and they both not, have like all that life and presence, even when they're not speaking. Yeah, I love them. Um, I th but the okay, I, I what's think, what's the merit theory? Still in the merit theory, we got it. I mean, you know, I feel it, like I, we've I, made I, our point. Yeah, I think <laughs> we're I think at crossroads. We'll, I feel like we're obviously we'll, very we'll wrap it up. negative think, on our emotional side here. Yeah. Well, I think the the <laughs> merit. Listen, I, there was always the very high likelihood that it was nobody. Um, That's why I, I do it was think. Hilarious. I do yeah. think no. <laughs> I, that was the funny. You know, I, it definitely did look like Dathomir magic that was coming out like that green, but also literally could have just been like a gaseous Inquisitor. Who knows? But you know, that's Star Wars for you. Like, I mean, I think about how much time like the internet spent sleuthing, being like, "Who is Snoke?" Turns out he's just Snoke. You know, he's just a clone <laughs> thing. Snoke. Like, uh, I mean, nothing. It's a little bit more. <laughs> If, well. they, if they don't explain what that is, I think that is bullshit. Maybe. Not because it's sure. not Star Killer, not because yeah, yeah. it's not Barris, yeah, not yeah. because it's not Ezra. Why I think it's bullshit is because it is an in, they the literally the whole embodiment is an Inquisitor. Yeah, it's an Inquisitor with this dual lightsaber. Yeah, and. And then even like when on screen when he first shows up or it shows up, it's like, oh, what it that, that it poses it in a yeah. way of like, who is this? Yes. You so, know, and, and like what oh, I thought the Inquisitors were dead. And everyone on the team that they're focusing on is important. And if they don't explain yeah. what that is, <laughs> you know, then it's bullshit. Shin, <laughs> yeah. Shin, it's Shin, yeah. Yeah. Shin definitely cared a lot. Like that much with was evident, which gives me a little bit of hope that we'll go back and explore it. Like, yeah, I think maybe it'll come like back. on the ship while they're. They flying. made a moment out of it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, I think the there there is always kind of the the one rumor that I kind of brushed off, but who knows? Of it could have been 
Um, Mel Gibson. during the <laughs> yes, <laughs> anti-Semitic inquisitor. <laughs> uh, <Red Ratner. laughs> but uh, during the the temple sequence, um, when all the inquisitors in in rebels, you know, when they're like flying around with their little helicopter lightsabers, yes, which we're just gonna pretend that never happened because it was ridiculous. Um, but it was theorized that it was one of them who then was like resurrected by the Dathomir witches. Which makes sense, like that so she why, might want to. But why would she? Oh, she needs dark side centric force. Too much. Like, Everyone yeah. predicted cooler things than it was a big. No, well, uh, listen. If, if it, <laughs> <laughs> actually, can we can we check the credits really quick to see if they finally said who it was playing him? Yeah, they said it. Uh, was it, was it Sam Peter? Uh, no, no, it wasn't Sam Whitworth. It was uh, some <laughs> name I've never heard of before. Um, wow, well, that that grinds my gears. No, <laughs> um, Peter Griffin, <laughs> Inquisitor no, Griffin. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, it's all right. I uh, I'm disappointed and I don't care anymore. Um, either way, listen, we get to see Anakin. So at a minimum, we get that. That's and if true. that's all we get, then that's fine. Um, I do. Yeah, I, I got it on the app. Yeah. This is my account. Huh? Magic technology. Uh, oh, I think, let's wait. I'll tell you right now. Um, While we build suspense here. Okay. It's also interesting that they didn't credit him prior. Like, like uh, they... Very quiet. Paul Darnell. Okay. Who the hell is Paul Darnell? Uh, is he a let's stunt let's guy? look him up. <laughs> Paul Darnell. Sorry, Paul. He's a stunt guy. Ahsoka. Who was Paul one hour ago? Ooh. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 st- is a stuntman who plays and maybe even voices. <laughs> the voicing of the <laughs> I don't think he voiced him unless he comes back in his own form to be an actor too. <laughs> uh, he's been a red guard before. Mm. Sure. All right. Yeah. So, right, Congratulations, well, everyone. Well, um, well yeah, you know, right, like, and he okay. was a cloud of black <laughs> smoke as yeah. a child. Dude, yeah. this is this is the life of a Star Wars fan. Yeah, and and I'm not hurt because I signed up for it. <laughs> I don't. I mean, it's it, it's annoying if we don't learn, but I'm not going to be annoyed until I'm not learning until epi- until episode eight. Unless until, if episode eight comes around and we don't know jack about it, then I'm going to be like, that's annoying. Yeah. But right now, I'm not going to be annoyed. Uh, Maybe he'll I'm, be I'm in more, the world between worlds. <laughs> I'm I, I'm more like we're four episodes in. I gotta Yo. I gotta care a little bit more for at this what, point. What if yeah. Maul is in the world between worlds? That's not. I'm not. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Every character is, we want to see is in the world I'm between done. worlds. Um, that, that was a joke for the record. I want, um, I care, and I'm hoping that next episode is truly an emotionally core focused episode about yeah. Ahsoka. Yeah. Because, you know, like right now, I don't know. Like I, 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 I think I thought Sabine Wren should have been the the lead of Star Wars Rebels. Personally, she was yeah. the best character to me, yeah. and. She should have been the lead to me, yeah. but then her translation for this show, I'm like, it's a good actress, but the the, the writing is it's just, not there. It's it's no, not, it's there. not there. It's not yeah. there. It's it it, ha- it has not Very been. Thin. It has not yeah. been there, and I'm like, yeah. your intrigue button is not pushing it for it, me it, right it, now. It, and, so. and I think the <laughs> issue is Sabine as a character grew so much during Rebels. And I feel like the Sabine I, that we got is like right back to square one. I hated the line about uh, your your family is your, yeah. is your only family. Like Hera's right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you literally just she shouted like, for her. She's Are risking you her career to see and you. like and like she and, and you would think Save after you. like the the relationship that with all this rebels connection that they rely on that with <laughs> uh, the connection that she had with Kanan Sabine. That she'd want to know Jason a little bit, you know, <laughs> like it's just like fucking uh, that that yeah. it, it that shit like that is just yeah. I don't know they, they yeah I think they're at a cross I think the show is at a crossroads because of the exact problem of well I just want to tell my sequel to Rebels <laughs> but a lot of people haven't seen Rebels so I got to tell something that can still be accessible. 
So I got to kind of write things down the middle so I don't left people feeling left out. But then now I'm missing nuance because I uh, Give us enough I color and flavor I can't go that it makes deep. people well, go to the And now we're in the world of two worlds. And now people who haven't seen Rebels have no idea what the hell's going uh, on here. I, I, <laughs> you I could do this in a way <laughs> yeah. that compels those people to go watch it. Yeah, and, and, and I think <laughs> we yeah. could we would care about Ez, uh, her looking for Ezra. If we cared more about, it doesn't even matter if we know Ezra or not. Yeah. yeah. It, what matters is is how much it would mean. Like when they're having that line of like, we know, like you can't just tell me how much she, Ezra means. I'm like, you got to have a scene where I fucking feel that shit. Yeah. And I feel nothing when you say yeah. that because right now so, it just feels like action guy has family needs to go get yeah, them. Yeah. <laughs> and know? and honestly, the little hologram that they showed of Ezra made me kind of not want to see Ezra. <laughs> 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 it's like yeah. this guy's a little punk. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, but, whatever. Um, we, we still haven't seen Thrawn. Yeah. I'm excited for Thrawn. And I, I, and, honestly, uh, I think what I'm concerned about is that. It's just going to save him for season like, two. No, <laughs> but, but, like, what if if the writing doesn't... I think we're going to get I'm a lot worried. of rich, philosophical... I hope so. ...cool bars so. from Thrawn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll um, take it. <laughs> um, and that's what we're going to get. Guys, what did you think about this episode? I like the action. I like the visuals. I like the tone. But, uh, yeah, we're you're looking at three very conflicted fans right now. Um, haven't written it off. Haven't made a decision on the show yet. Still yeah. got four more episodes to go. It. it has time. Still rooting for them. Let's see what happens. Leave your thoughts down below. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for being here.